Well, there's my hide. I've had it soaking in this for about an hour or so. It's probably hard to tell, but it's actually starting to take on some color. If you can see that black spot but that's actually not from blood that's from whatever was in the creek there was an orange stain on it and uh, that's what it did to it But anyway, this is my fourth pouring. This is the uh, liquor that had just sat and teed on its own without boiling after I was done making my first three pourings. And uh, I don't know if you recall from the video of my bark liquor video how light that fourth pouring was. But as you can see, after sitting for, I don't know, five days to a week, it has darkened up a lot. I actually took the probably about two to three gallons of liquor that I had from that fourth pouring, and I added about two gallons of water to it, and it's still quite dark. You can only see down about maybe two inches depth and then it loses visibility but that's it that's uh, how you tan a hide I'm just gonna let that go in there for about 10 days and I'll just keep stirring it uh, a couple times a day at least and uh, once that liquor starts to lighten up and lose color I'll know that that hide is sucking it up and I can go ahead and uh, put my first pour, my third pouring in there which is right here ready to go and then from there I'll go on to my uh, second pouring which is in those little milk jugs or I'm sorry little ice cream pails and uh, finally I'll finish with my first pouring which is in these uh, two gallon milk jugs which you might not be able to see that's pretty much it it's just a matter of time now and patience it could take up to 60 days and it could uh, it could go a lot quicker <clears throat> basically you just want to keep an eye on that liquor and make sure that it's not getting too light once you can see down in there fairly well you want to add some more liquor and darken it up and uh, just slowly progress along until you get to your first pouring or until it strikes through and uh, by strike through you go to the thickest part of the skin which is generally the neck and you snip off a little piece of the leather and you look at it to see if the tannins have struck completely through the leather you want it to penetrate to the center of that thickest part of the hide and once it's done that, even just a little bit, it's it's done. And then you go on to currying and dressing it. And uh, I think, like I said before, uh, this is kind of a long process. So I think what I'll do is just kind of give quick updates as it goes. If I notice anything spectacular, I'll post it. Otherwise, I'll just uh, show you the finished product and uh, take you through the steps of currying and dressing the hide 
once it's done tanning. But uh, I guess that's pretty much it. I'll talk to you later. Well, here's my skin after four or five days in this fourth pouring of bark liquor. It's kind of hard to videotape this because there isn't very good lighting in here. Um, but there's the hide. It's it's very unlikely you can really see it. But I think I'm just going to add photos to this. But uh, that's basically it. It's safe to stick your hands in this as long as it still smells like bark and uh, isn't rotten. It can develop a mold on the top which can just be stirred back in or skimmed off. The mold actually helps uh, the tanning process though. But I'm going to go ahead and add my third pouring of liquor because uh, as you might be able to see this liquor has lightened up quite a bit since the, le since the last time I showed you this Basically, I just give my third pouring a nice stir and uh, pour it in here. And uh, basically, I'm just adding enough to get it dark again where I can't see down in there so well. This large, uh, I think this is a 46 quart cooler. It works a lot better than a five gallon bucket because I can take this skin and You might be able to see that fairly well. It's definitely starting to turn brown. Here's the inside, the flesh side. And you can see there's some black stains from blood and from whatever that rust was in the creek. It's really noticeable on this side. I probably can't even see that. But anyway, I can take my hide and really uh, straighten it out <clears throat> so it gets a good even coating. There's not many folds on it so that tannin can work in there. And I just go through and squish out all the air bubbles. Loosen up those folds the best I can. And that's it. Let it go. Once it gets to where I can see down in that bark liquor again, I'll uh, go ahead and add some more and just continue increasing the pourings and making this tannin stronger and stronger. That's pretty much it though. That's all there is to it. Like I said, this is uh, day five and day four or five. And I went ahead and added about half of my third pouring to this already weak solution. And now it's nice and dark again, and I can only see down in there maybe 
maybe an inch I think it's kind of a guessing game but once you get to the point where you can see down in there more than a inch or two you want to uh, increase the strength of that tannin solution again because as that hide takes the tannins that liquor will continue to lighten That's my third pouring right there.